tonight. And so many of those we lost called the Metro home, including a single father who died just days before the holidays from COVID. Yeah, and Diana Castillo shows us how one family is struggling yeah. and now urging others to make the decision that one man did not. Robert Marcos Martinez held many titles, brother, son, outdoorsman, among many others. But the most important was his role as a father. He was the absolute model of a dad uh, to those boys. He was patient and kind. He was slow to anger, quick to forgive. He gave them everything. Robert was a single dad raising his two young boys on his own after their mother passed away about four years ago. His family says he was a strong man. So when he first tested positive for COVID back in November, they thought he was going to get through it. But things quickly took a turn. He was sick all the way up until a couple of weeks ago when he texted me and said, my oxygen level is down to 67, uh, pray for me. And at that point, my wife and I, we called him and said, you need to go to the hospital. You need to call the ambulance. Robert went to the hospital and was quickly taken to the ICU. He was not vaccinated against COVID. And on December 11th, he passed away. A GoFundMe page was created in hopes of granting one of Robert's last wishes. He always told me, brother, I want to be buried. I want to be buried next to the boy's mom. And that way, if anything ever happens, the boys can see both of us. Funeral services will be on the 28th. The money raised will also be used for his two sons that are now living with their uncle. Just please get vaccinated. It may seem silly. It may seem like it's not important. It may go against your beliefs or whatever it is. But I can tell you to have my older brother dying in that hospital alone and they would not allow me to go see him. That hurt the most. Diana Castillo, KOB4. Find the GoFundMe under our story at KOB.com. Yeah.